What's up dudes, it's Chad here. It is Father's Day 2024. I'm at Brick Farm Trout Fishery in Sussex. I finally got it back, guys. My Sage R8 has been repaired. It was about 10 weeks sent back to the States and they sent me a new section. So it's quite windy today. It's about 20 miles an hour. Um, I'd normally use the seven weight when the wind's like this, but I'm gagging to get out there and uh, play with my Sage again. So it's basically, it's a funny old season guys it's been uh, mid-june now and it's much cooler than it has been we've had much more rain than normal so i'm not really sure what's going on with the fishing um phil the manager there said it's been a little bit odd the fish seem a bit confused on what they're feeding on so it's definitely time to get out on the buzzers you can't go wrong with spring and buzzers guys right out here we go right oh here we go right oh here we go okay so it's three buzzers guys um got a size 10 there on the bottom fly oh, hold on let me get this i think i've hooked in i would normally there yeah, start again i would normally only use two flies on a nine foot rod and preferably not hook my finger but as I don't know what depth the fish are going to be feeding at due to the odd weather, I have gone with three. So it gives me more chance to hit the correct level. So I'll quickly show you what I have. I've got about a 10 foot leader here, guys. It is quite windy. On the top dropper, I've got this lovely little size 14 um, green thorax quill buzzer and on the middle dropper it's a pink thorax quill buzzer I think they're referred to as woofter buzzers um, I've heard Ian Barr refer to them as that but the pink and on the I have to be careful because of the wind and on the bottom dropper the heaviest fly it's got a standard yellow uh, thorax with some flash on top the cool buzzer there as well um it is blowing a hoolie you know it's going to get up to 20 odd miles an hour if i can't sort of keep my drift on the buzzers right because they're swinging around too fast even with men's i do have the rio midge tip line oh this feels so light compared to uh using the seven weight oh that's beautiful <laughs> got the rio gold line on here guys um, yeah, we're up on Stag Lake. I might need to get a little bit further out. Nine times out of ten, most of my action in here is on the, in the middle of the lake. But I'm just, I haven't mended that. They're just going to be swinging around there. That top size 14 quill buzzer with the green in it i've had a lot of fish on that this year um especially at my syndicate where the fish get released a few times there's a lot of weed here guys I'm using the i'm not backwards and forwards in on my cast because of the wind i tend to just pick it up and lay it down once and then it doesn't collapse my loop because of the wind I did see on um, Brick Lake there was a lot of fish rising, so push come to shove, I might go to Brick Lake. This is the shallowest of all the lakes and does tend to suffer in the summer the quickest. But I'm quite happy just to let that swing round. And all I do is I've got my eye on the line and every so often you can either, to raise your buzzers, you can either give it a slow draw like that that just picks them up and drops them down or if you don't like the draw method I tend to do um, 10 or 12 turns a figure of eight one two three four five six seven eight something like that and then let them drop it's the same movement as the uh, as the draw
there you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> see that, guys? I don't know. I think you did see that. That was a good take. Didn't smash me up, did he? No, just, uh, just bounced him off. Okay. So we know that's working. A line shot off. Finally, I'm buzzer, guys. That'd be on the little green buzz I was talking about. Took a while. all tangled up so we're in Ooh. little buzzer Late guys, I'm uh, on two flies now. I've got a damsel on the point, you saw we just catch that perch on, and I've got a green bead headed, rather chunky dial back, not one of my smaller dial backs, but it's about half twelve. I think it's probably gonna be quiet now until sort of this evening. I've seen a lot of people struggling today. It seems to be the first session what I would consider of summer conditions that I've fished in small still water this year. Um, it's just one of those things of saying um, you get to June, oh, what's your mate? How you doing? Struggling. You struggling mate. I did just say I was struggling, didn't I? That's it. Because you're in my swim. Am I really? <laughs> yeah, well actually I'm only going to get the one, I'm only just going to get this one and I'm going to call it a day anyway, but you don't come off. Can't believe that mate, I literally was pretty much ready to, to write today off. Typical isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do me. Like yeah, get in there. Yep, off in the net. There we go. I'm happy with that. Two fish in summer conditions. Come yep, come out in the net. <laughs> oh, wonderful. There you go, dudes. Middle of June, managed to catch two fish. One on buzzer and one on a really fishy damsel there on Brick Lake. It was kind of on my way back to the car to be honest. I was kind of resigned to the fact I was just going to get the one. Bearing in mind it's like half twelve when I caught that last fish. Normally, sort of midday, you know, the fishing kind of dies off. But it is summer conditions, so fishing will slow down here in the UK to probably September. So it's going to be a case of getting two fish tickets, not four fish tickets when I visit places. Be sensible, Chad. Um, yeah, nice challenge, nice challenge. I'm glad I got one on buzzer. And uh, really, for me, it was about getting back out on the sage after repair. Um, you know, I absolutely love this, uh, this rod. Uh, very, very happy with it since I bought it sort of uh, a couple of years ago now. And um, I was just a bit disappointed it took 10 weeks to get the repair for this part section back. But I was patient, I used my uh, my heavier rod and uh, it's great to get it back and be out there on the water with it. So all in all, pretty happy. There you go guys, two fish in summer conditions, really, really happy with that. It was challenging, but I recommend that you do get out of there, still give it a go. Support your local still waters, guys, it's really important. If you're persistent, you can still catch those fish.
At the tail end of the video here, guys, just going to leave you a few of the uh, pictures of my animals. You've got my yellow belly slider turtle there, Cuff, and you've got my dog, uh, Jay, or uh, Tufty Bum, as I like to call her, out there for a walk in the woods. This walk in the woods was after I had Fish Brick Farm, just in the evenings, chilling out, and some pictures of the horses there. Um, just for the end of the video, really, something a little bit different, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it.